I said earlier this has happened overnight, <clears throat> and uh, that's not fact. But it seemingly seems like it, yeah, has happened overnight. To where this is now a topic in the uh, presidential race. This is a topic in in our in our local governments. This is a topic in in most association meetings. This is a topic in schools and education sectors. Is this just starting? I think it is just starting. I mean, if you look at the some of the statistics from years to come, I think the the latest one I saw was 2020. They're still expecting a labor shortage of. What was that? I think we looked at the same thing. Was it a million? I think it was more. It, was it more than that? It was a bunch. I can't even remember. The numbers are so big I forget. But it's significant. So I think as you look at that, that problem will continue to, to grow unless we find some solutions. And I think as a manufacturer, that's kind of in relationship to what we were talking yeah. about. The manufacturers need to continue to develop products that are easier to install, that may take less labor to do so or be faster. I mean, how, how will we mitigate so otherwise that you're, problem? Yeah, because you, you won't be efficient as a, as a manufacturer. Your margins are going to shrink. You mm -hmm. guys are going to have have issues uh, as, a, as a company yeah. um, and the builders aren't getting the solutions they need and thus the homeowners aren't happy with the builders. Exactly. Yeah, it just kind of snowballs it on does. top of each other. So on, it's bo on both sides. On both sides. It snowballs. Uh, do you see a lack of interest mm -hmm. from younger generations, kids coming up? Hey, that, that's not, you know, that's labor, that's hard work, that that's, seems like I'm I up on a roof all day long in a hot sun in July, no thanks. Yeah, you know, uh, I think every generation looks at the younger, younger generation and thinks they're lazy. And that's probably been the case forever. So there's some very hardworking individuals coming up out of high school. But still, I think it goes back to the education. They, they look at it, they talk to their parents. Hey, their parents probably are going to encourage them to do more of a white collar job. I mean, you look at that as that's kind of the nirvana, that's where you want to go. I think that. Uh the, the, the pride that comes in, and you see it, you saw it with the remodelers today, we see it at the builders, at the, the builders show, it doesn't matter that there's a pride that comes in building homes and owning a business and, and being your own boss and, and having, and that's where these kids can go. They can, For sure. in, in a lot of generations, there's a lot of, of, most building companies, and especially remodelers, are family owned, they're generational businesses, it went from grandpa to dad to son, and with, without that interest, those die, those businesses die. They do. And I think part of those that will continue, some of those will pass on because maybe the next generation isn't in, interested in doing that. Um, a few weeks ago, I actually toured a local high school. They have training in place in, to, to build cabinetry. They had the word woodworking shops. They taught them actually how to build from scratch all of these products and to, be, to become the craftsman. It was really interesting because that teacher kept encouraging these students to understand what they're doing. You're leaving now with a skill set. You're leaving with an opportunity to start a job. He would actually encourage them to go out there and talk to other family members or maybe the aunt and uncle and show them what they could do. Talk to them about, hey, I can help build some furniture if you guys need something. He goes, then you do that in high school. There's no risk. All the equipment is here. Mm -hmm. They just have to pay for the materials. Yeah. And he goes, you know, then you take that, you leave high school, you, your job foundation is, your business is already started. So some of those kids are seeing that. And you, at, you know, at 18, you don't need a lot of money. So it's a tremendous opportunity for them to do that. Yeah. One of the highest job satisfactions is a home builder. They get to build a product, they get to see their progress every day, and then once it's completed, they can stand back and see what they did and go, hey, I did that, and they feel really good. That gives them that strong job satisfaction, and then they get to move on to the next project. They get to build it, and then they see what they do. So it's one of those things that you build that over time, and that's why they're so, that job satisfaction rate is so high. And I think part of that is what needs to, what um, the younger generation needs to, to be reminded. Well, and not only that, but you, when you look at, just like in, in your business, the manufacturing business, each job is not any more important than the other. Right. There, it's a, a unit, right? Yeah. In home building, if you have a loose screw, figuratively or literally, you've got issues. And so you need skilled labor in all, in all parts, from, from, from framing to drywall to, to finishing. That needs to, that needs to happen. Um, I think, personally, the, the education is there, that people are there ready to teach and mentor and, and get people excited. But I, I believe that those people are there, they're waiting to teach, and there are, are younger people that are waiting to be taught. 
there's certainly people out there interested in it, and there's certainly the people that will that will have the push and drive to become successful. What's Best Bath doing? What are you guys doing? What are you getting involved in? And what would you, if, if you had an open forum to say, come on guys, follow us. This is where, this is important enough for all of us to get behind it. And we're not price, it's not a price war. This isn't a, my product's better than your product. This is a, in order for us to sustain, I mean, you've been in building products for a long time. Once you get into this business, typically people stay in it, right? So we've got, we've got the, the people that are ready, what would you tell them? The overall with the industry, I think th it's just that. The industry needs to get together to move this forward and help, and help solve the problem and, and train individuals. If it's not a, our product versus their product, it's, it's really to inform people what other solutions and what product alternatives are out there. So it's hard to, to, to put something on that specifically. I would say Best Bath as a whole, what we work on is is trying to train the individuals that use our product specifically, because every product installs a little bit differently. On top of that, we try to develop the products and continue to innovate products so that it's easier to install. And, and you guys are, you're not, a, you're not the only company that thinks this way, and you're not the only manufacturer that understands this, and, and, but you do, you need support. You need support from associations, you need support from trade partners like Professional Builder and Professional Modeler. You need support from other manufacturers, not only in your space, but all across the building platforms because this is, is going to get, could get worse before it gets, before it gets better. And it's important enough right. for, us, for everyone to take notice. Yeah. Well, Greg, it's great, man. I appreciate you talking, talking to us today. And it is, it's a topic that I think needs more discussion. It, it needs uh, a plan from, from yourself, from best people like Best Bath and, and, and others. It's, it's important enough, but I, I think starting the conversation, having people understand that this is a problem. It's not, as you said, world ending, but in reality, it's, it's a bigger issue than I think most see. Yeah, you can't stick your head in the sand. You gotta, you gotta face it and figure out what the solution is.